Michael was the first organ donor honored by UMC in a donor walk, and to see the hope restored in his family's lives will take your breath away. <laughs> This was the moment a mother and father said goodbye to their son. In May of 2019, Michael Sigler was just 18 years old and ready to graduate high school until one afternoon, a driver struck Michael's motorcycle. He was rushed to the hospital to fight for his life and his parents had to have a difficult discussion with the Nevada Donor Network. I had two more days to just sit with him and be able to rub my fingers through his hair that I would not have had otherwise. Such a gift is immeasurable. Michael's parents made a choice that would change their lives forever. That introduction of hope and strength and life come in uh, during our worst moment of our lives uh, changed everything. But today, Courtney Kaplan and Charles Siegler can breathe a sigh of relief. They met the man who received their son's lungs. Michael is still alive through me. Harold Peck is 67 years old and he lives in Texas. 10 years ago, he was diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis, a disease that occurs when lung tissue is damaged or scarred. Over time, it got worse. And in 2016, he was placed on the transplant list. After five failed potential donors, Michael became his miracle. I'm B negative, which was a rare type blood, but everything that we got was just a miracle. A miracle Harold and Michael's family will never forget. For the rest of my life, I want to do nothing but honor Michael and the gift that he gave. And this weekend, the Nevada Donor Network hosts their annual Inspire Gala. The event helps raise awareness for organ, eye, and tissue donation, as well as expand transplantation capabilities in the state of Nevada. Live in studio, Rachel Moore, 13 Action News.